Come on in, welcome to my home. Today we are making these wonderful twice baked potatoes. These are so good and so wonderful. Made them yesterday, I will walk you through the recipe with a lovely little voiceover. And you have my patrons to thank for that, but we will talk about that in the end of this video. But let's get started. Let's jump over to the voiceover so that I can show you how I did this. Remember, the recipe is listed down below in the description. All right, we are going to start off with two very cleaned potatoes that we are going to poke holes in using a fork. Once the potatoes have the holes poked in them, we are going to bake them in a 350 degree oven for about an hour until they are done. Once the potatoes are cooked, we're going to slice them in half. The slicing in half should be fairly easy because the potatoes should be done. Then we are just going to scoop out the inside and place the inside of the potato into a bowl. Now you want to leave about a quarter of an inch of potato clinging to the skin so that, that way your potato still has some structure. But we are going to put all of that into our bowl and then add in our other ingredients. Once our potatoes have been sliced and had the inside scooped out, we are then going to take our potatoes, our cheese, bacon, and sour cream. We're going to place that into a bowl and mix that thoroughly. You want to make sure that all of that is nice and mixed up. We're going to add butter to that to make sure that it is all sweet and wonderful and fantastic. And we'll mix that up to create this nice fluffy mixture that we are then going to spoon into our potato halves. You want to coat this fairly evenly so that that way your potato halves are nice and filled. They should be actually puffing up over the potato, not by a whole ton, but by quite a bit. And you will have a lot to go around with this. Remember, all the ingredients are listed down below in the description where they should be. So it will make that so much more fun. Then, once you have all of that fluffy potato goodness in there, we're going to top this off with more cheese. Yep, we're going to sprinkle cheese on top of this and then place it into an oven that is preheat to preheat it to 350 degrees and bake that for about 20 to 25 minutes. After baking our potatoes for about 25 minutes, we are going to take them out of the oven, plate them up, and then give them a taste. These should be so good. And they are. They are so good. And these were so easy to make. I am just amazed at how good this bacony, cheesy, sour creamy wonderfulness is. That was so easy to make. And I mean so easy to make. And it was really good. And I can tell you, mom did not finish all of her potato. So she put it to the refrigerator, wrapped it up, and then brought it out today and had it for lunch. And she said, it was delicious and wonderful even the next day. This was such an easy recipe to make. And I want you to know that these recipes are easy for me to make with the help of my patrons. Now you can become one of the patrons by hitting that uh, little uh, line down there, which will take you over to Patreon. On Patreon, you get these videos early, and you also get a weekly video which tells you what's been going on in my week and some of my thoughts and some of the ideas that are going on behind on going on behind the scenes. You could also become a member of this channel. In memberships, you get to have behind the scenes access to what's going on and what's happening, and it's sort of fun to do. So you can do those, or you could just like and share this video. Leave me a comment about what recipes you'd like to see me do next. I hope I get to see you the next time you stop by. 